Hello, this is Ed Chapman, and this video cast is going to focus on diffusion, which is the simplest and easiest way for molecules to cross the cell membrane and either get into the cytoplasm or out of the cytoplasm of cells. Now, diffusion happens because the cell membrane is semi-permeable. Okay, the word semi-permeable means that the cell membrane will not let everything through. It acts like a filter. Okay, it will block some things and allow other things through. And diffusion can either, uh, molecules can either diffuse into a cell for free, which means they require no energy, or they can be pumped into cells, which requires energy. And if the molecules are pumped, that's not diffusion, that's something else. Okay, so when molecules are just diffusing into or out of a cell, we call that passive transport, but it requires no energy. All right, if molecules have to be pumped, we call that active transport because it does require energy. All right, this is very important. Passive means no energy. Active transport means does require energy. And we're going to cover this second part later on in a, in a future um, video cast. We're just going to look at diffusion in this video cast. All right, now diffusion is the, is the ability of certain solutes, okay, which are molecules that will dissolve in water, to pass through the membrane. And of course, water can diffuse easily through the bilayer. Carbon dioxide and oxygen can both diffuse very easily through the cell membrane. And they do this by passing directly through the phospholipid bilayer. Okay? And because they're moving, oops, because they're moving through with no energy being required, we can call this passive transport. Now, passive transport can happen in not two ways, sorry about that, in three ways. Okay? Diffusion, osmosis, and facilitated diffusion. Okay, diffusion is, is concerned mainly with the movement of solutes, uh, things that will dissolve in water directly through the phospholipid bilayer. Osmosis is a type of diffusion that's only about water. Water is the solvent and it can move through the bilayer also. Facilitated diffusion is the movement of solutes that are either too big or because they're ions, they have a charge, they can't get through the phospholipid bilayer, so they have to pass through those embedded proteins, which we're going to call channel proteins. All right, so let's look at diffusion. Uh, oxygen is probably one of the more familiar solutes that can dissolve in water, and diffusion causes solutes, in general, to move from where they are concentrated to where they are dilute. Now concentrated means it's where there's a lot of them. Okay, so if you look in this diagram, there is a lot of water on this side of the bilayer, and excuse me, a lot of oxygen on this side of the bilayer, and there's no oxygen over on this side. So because the concentration is really high over here and really low over here, diffusion is going to attempt to equalize it. Okay, so let's watch what happens. So over time, oxygen molecules are gonna diffuse across the bilayer, all right? And that's going to continue until the concentration of oxygen is the same on both sides of the membrane. And this is a form of passive transport. This, it just happens. The cell does not have to pump anything. Okay, so diffusion continues until the concentration of solutes is the same everywhere. All right, and when that happens, we've reached a state called equilibrium. All right, now... Plant cells and animal cells are diffusing different things in different directions because they have different metabolisms. If you remember, plant cells do photosynthesis, and in the process of doing photosynthesis, they make a waste gas called oxygen. So over time, plant cells are going to be diffusing oxygen from where they're making it to the outside. So oxygen is going to diffuse outward. All right? Animal cells, on the other hand, other hand, have mitochondria, and mitochondria are constantly producing carbon dioxide as a waste gas. So in animal cells, carbon dioxide is diffusing out. Okay, now you may remember, okay, that plant cells need carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide is going to be diffusing into plant cells, and animal cells need oxygen. So oxygen is going to be diffusing into animal cells. So it's important to know what kind of cell you're talking about if you're going to be talking about the diffusion of these two gases. We'll talk more about this when we do photosynthesis. Okay, thanks for listening. We'll stop there. The next video cast is going to be about osmosis.